Hi everybody, the week is gone and we are ready to please you with a fresh bass news compilation. From this episode you will learn what the Bugatina Super Bass preamp is good for, what Troy Sanders new signature bass looks like, how guitarists cheat with endorsement, what the isotope ozone imager is useful for, why GHS made pedals Walter, and how Metallica got into TikTok. Get comfortable, put likes, let's go! Begatina audio system challenged the titans of the bass market. The new Super Pre combined can seriously push the popular bass preamps. Judge for yourself, hidden inside a small box are a bass preamp, a 4-band equalizer, filter, tuner, compressor, overdrive, D-box with cabinet impulses and 21 user pitches, which includes 7 banks of 3 programs. The device is not only most functional, but also very convenient for practical application in heavy concert use. Bevel for foot buttons, pseudo segment display, illuminated controls, all this greatly improves ergonomics. On the front panel there are four parametric encoders, volume and gain controls. The rear panel contains a variable impedance instrument input, an hour input, two balanced XLR connectors with a D-box each, a center turn loop, a headphone output, a USB port and a power connector. Pleasantly surprised by the universal power scheme. For operation the device must be powered by a voltage in range of 9 to 12 volts with a minimum current of 500 milliamperes. The polarity of connector, whether it is AC or DC, doesn't matter. SuperPre will swallow everything. The price is $699 for a preamp or $719 for a kit with a power supply. Troy Saunders of Mastodon and Fender have created the perfect weapon for heavy metal enthusiasts. The new signature model features a set of P and J pickups by Tim Show and an 18 volt preamp. The new base has a vintage high mass bridge, the body is made of older in silver burst finish, the maple neck with rosewood fingerboard features a 70s P base profile. The back of the hat is adorned with the inscription Troy Saunders. The Emperor of Sand Beige is inlaid at the 12th fret. The bass sounds amazingly tight, collected and loud. The price is $1499. The guitar site ultimateguitar.com recently published an article about guitarists who use different guitars for live performance and recording. Musicians often enter into contracts with manufacturers undertaking to shine their equipment and their performances for advertising purposes. When recording they prefer to use completely different guitars. Ultimate Guitar unearthed several such cases. For example the H is most associated with a Gibson Explorer or Fender Stratocaster, but in reality he is mostly liked to use a Gibson Les Paul, Epiphone, Casino or Rickenbacker. Most of Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page's compositions are recorded on a Telecaster, not on the Gibson Les Paul with which the musician is strongly associated. This series can be continued. Robin Ford and his Percy McCarthy Mick Jones and his Gibson, Rivis Cuomo and Warmer Strat. The phenomenon of endorsement is very common these days, but when choosing an instrument it is better to focus on your own errors and hands than on posters and clips of your favorite bands. Isotope distributes a free version of its Ozone Imager plugin, which is designed to increase or decrease the stereo component of a single piece of music or the entire master channel. You can easily add widths to a track or narrow it down to mono using the width slider. The amount control allows to stereoize a mono source using two different algorithms. In right hand, Ozen Imager can be a very useful and interesting tool. A slightly stripped down but completely free version for Mac and PC is available on the manufacturer's website. Fans of analog transistor fast pedals know how much the effect sound changes when the battery is discharged. Guitarists have caught on to this trick and have deliberately drained the batteries in order to capture the coveted sound for their fast pedal. In order not to burn energy for nothing, the guys from GHS developed pedals Volto. Place this device between the power supply and the pedal. Apply 9, 12 or 18 volt DC and get 7.5 to 1.25 volt DC output 
to fine tune the voltage and perfectly reproduce the tone of a dying battery. Although the Volter was designed specially for vintage fuzz, it works great with any analog pedal. The device costs only $80. Metallica decided to hype and released their track on TikTok. In this social network a trend has long gained popularity, where one musician writes his parts, then another adds his own to the first parts and so on ad infinitum. Ulrich's drum spot was posted first, then Trujillo's bass and Hatfield's guitar parts were posted online. Hammett was the last to join. The only thing that was in the video description was the call to play a duet. Most likely this is some kind of PR campaign for the sun-awaited release of the album 72 Seasons, which is scheduled for release on April 14th. It is always a pleasure to watch big stars in home interiors. All the news for today, but I want to tell you a last mystery story. Once upon a time in small town there lived a little boy who didn't subscribe to our channel. And one dark night his bass guitar turned into a pumpkin. Think about it.